I think it's time to get a little bit bigger, get a little bit roomier with Woo! some roomy motorhomes. Now, you guys renovated your motorhome, didn't you? We did, and it was in 1999. Mm -hmm. I, it's oh. so weird saying like the nines, you yeah. know? The 1900s. Um, the 1900s, which is crazy to me. It wasn't roomy until after we renovated it, but right. what I love now these days, 20 years plus later, they're coming off the lot really roomy. They Especially are. Especially with the slides and yeah. like all the different layouts. I mean, they've I'll been love able it. they've been able to thicken some things, thinner some things, and make just these RVs so much greater. Yep. Uh, into inside and outside, and you know somebody that knows really a lot about making a room great, our buddy Trish Sure. Trish, what you got about on these motorhomes? Chris, Tiff, let me tell you something. I'm all for a roomy motorhome. I mean, think about all the possibilities, the family time, the fun time, how much you can design. I cannot wait to see what Ian's got up his sleeve. And listen, if y'all are thinking we want to get in a roomy motorhome, we want to know what we can do. Just call 866-853-3510. We have specialists standing by to talk all things motorhome. I want to know if this Forester we're about to see is big enough to do some yoga poses. Take it away, Ian. Chris, Trish, Tiff, thank you guys so much. And yes, this is Roomy Motorhomes, and for good reason. Look how much space we have in here. I mean, I can do cartwheels through the center of this bad boy if I want to, but despite how roomy they are, I think this session should have been called like baller class C motorhomes, luxury class C, because we have a few of them that are gonna absolutely blow you away. If it's just the two of you looking to do a little bit of travel, but you still want space for some guests. Maybe you have the kids or grandkids that come stay with you, you need a place for them to sleep, then these right here are absolutely perfect. Let's start off, this is the Forester 3011 DS, and you will see the gorgeous kitchen in this one. This is one of my personal favorite layouts in a Class C. Uh, when we're talking about a space for two people, and the reason being, you just have massive countertop. I love this, so much space. You can prep food here, you have the sink. I mean, look at all this room. You can see a wireless charger right over here. I have my phone charging because I didn't do it last night and it's about to die. And if my wife needs to contact me, she'll be like, why is your phone turned off? <laughs> so we have it charging right over here. Uh, and then take a look at that. You can see, how convenient is that? A spot for a trash can. The coolest thing about this, when you go outside, you'll see there's actually a door. So you can just open that up, take the trash can right out. I love this idea. It's just a uh, great use of space. You can put this on there when you're not using it and you're good to go. And that also allows for excellent storage still underneath. So you can see all that storage right there. You have more over to this side here. It gives you plumbing access, a little bit of deeper storage for some of like your cleaning chemicals, things like that. And you still have a huge bank of Drawers. Cool thing about this, folks, boom, slow close. Love that. That's for all the drawers throughout here. And just in case this wasn't enough countertop, you get the countertop extension right over here on the end. So I'm telling you, if you're looking for a Class C for a couple people, you want a ton of countertop space, the Forester 3011 DS has you covered. Also notice the high-rise faucet. It is two-tone, which I like. That's kind of a, a trend that we're seeing right now in the residential side, starting to bring that over into the RV side as well, kind of your mixed and matched metals. Sink top cover. You have the double bowl undermount stainless steel sink. Now you're able to undermount it because we have the upgraded countertops. This is a thermoformed countertop. Big upgrade over T-mold because, you know, on a T-mold, you'll have that, well, T-mold on the outside. And what happens, especially with if you're having your sink and everything here is the water gets down into that T-mold, then it rots out your countertop, and that's not something you want to deal with. This right here, you're not going to have to worry about that, which is why they allow it to be undermounted. Fantastic countertop, plus it's actually lighter than true solid surface, which anytime we're talking about the RV world is a big deal. You'll notice the 32-inch TV right up top here, and that is directly across from our theater seating. How wonderful is that? This is where you wanna be. You can kick back, relax. Both of these do have seat belts so you can have legal riders here, folks. That's a huge one. Uh, one of the great things about motorhomes, and I always tell people this when they're looking at you know, motorhome versus towable, one is if you already have a tow vehicle, well, a towable may be a good choice, but if you don't, the great thing about a motorhome is the fact 
your travel experience is so much better. You know, everyone thinks about the destination, when you're gonna get there. Well, you wanna make sure that travel is fun too, and a motorhome allows that to happen. When this slide is in, everyone is right here, everyone's talking, you're playing games, having conversation, and you're sitting in extremely comfortable seats that entire time. Plus, you'll see that you have the little uh, TV trays here. So, you know, if you wanna throw a, uh, like a tablet up there, or if you just want a light snack, that allows you to have that space, plus the cup holders, and of course, a place for uh, remotes and everything here as well. And if you need to charge any cell phones, you will also notice you have USB ports built right in there too, which are pretty darn cool. Up above that in this slide, you'll see storage going all the way across here, so excellent storage. You will also notice that this one has kind of like a little end table on the side with an electrical outlet built in, again, in case you have to plug anything in while you're sitting here in the U-shaped dinette. And again, you have three, three seat belts in here, folks. I mean, you can have five additional riders outside of the driver and passenger. So if you're looking for something you want to take, again, maybe this is the two of you, but you have the dream of wanting to take your grandkids to, say, like Disney World or something like that, or just, you know, go for a long drive, go touring. This right here allows you to do it. While this is mainly built for two, this table does drop down. You can sleep two additional people here, plus you have the cab over up top where you can sleep two more. So you can very easily sleep six people in here, which, again, is just a huge win. In. Big storage underneath that dinette as well, folks. They want to make, they want to really maximize the storage, and they have certainly done that. There, slow close as I showed you all the way throughout. Big windows letting in just a ton of natural light. Let's finish off the kitchen. Then I do want to hit the front before we go in the back. But you'll see this the storage right up top here next to the TV. So good storage space. You have the hood right down underneath is your three burner cooktop. And then in lieu of an oven is your microwave convection oven. Right over to this side here is the Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So this one is going to cool down much faster than your gas absorption. It's just gonna run off your batteries. Uh, this one does have a 4,000 watt generator on there. So if you're out boondocking, you don't have shore power, you can fire up that generator and that, uh, you know, that will basically put power back into the batteries for you so you can continue to run that. And then up front, I just wanna show you this before we hit the bedroom, you will see the cab over space. Cool thing about this, if you want to take this out, you can. If you don't plan on using this for a sleeping space at all, sure, take all that out, and then you just have extra storage up there. But if you want the sleeping space, you have it with the bed. You'll see some uh, cubby holes all along the side there. Couple windows up top too. That can be a pretty big deal for cross ventilation because you can open that up and get that cross breeze helping people up top cool down if you don't want to run the ACs. Now bear in mind, this one does have uh, two ACs. It comes with a single 15,000 uh, BTU AC as a standard with a heat pump, but if you want the second AC, that one is optional. Why don't we take a step out, Kev, and then we'll flip around, just kind of show everyone a couple things. One will be your main control panel located here. Also a pantry before we step into the bathroom. I don't want this to go unseen because that is huge storage space. I mean, you're talking s'mores. Fits my man Chris, maybe he's hiding his fine bourbon in there, so. My good friend Kevin can't have it. Who knows? But you have a ton of storage space in there. Girl Scout cookies, oh baby, galore. And then you step into the bathroom. It is a pass-through bathroom. You'll notice the shower right over to the side. Now, some people don't like a pass-through because you know it does kind of close off the bedroom. But again, it's built for two people. And But why do I love it? Because you can open this up, even though it's split. I like it for, for two reasons, really. One. My wife can be showering and I can be doing my business in here and she doesn't have to be affected by what I'm doing. Two, if you want a larger bathroom, this door opens up like so. It actually has a magnet and it shuts just like that. And then you have a door on this side is two to close. So you have this entire space. So you still have a large bathroom if you want it. Then we step back into the master bedroom. Oh man, oh man, this is still great. You have a slide here for your queen bed that slides out, windows on both sides for cross ventilation, big window in the back. I uh, dropped down the MCD roller shade just to show you, you have those throughout. Then at the foot of the bed is massive storage with the TV. So you see excellent wardrobe space, a ton of hanging space up there on both sides. Of course, the TV, if you wanna watch something, good storage uh, right there. And underneath you have uh, some drawers. So again, just excellent storage all the way throughout. But as we come back out in the main living area, again, I just wanna show you how roomy 
This one really is. There's a reason we call this Rumi Motorhomes, and this is it. But again, great appointments inside. Super excited about what we've seen in here. But just wait till we get outside because there's some stuff out there that is going to blow your mind. And as we step outside, before we even hit on any of the features, one of the things I want to point out is how absolutely gorgeous the outside of the Forester is. The reason being, folks, this one has the optional paint on there. Now, I know a lot of people go back and forth, and some people don't. They're in this school of thought where they feel full body paint isn't worth it. What I tell people is it's all about your usage and what you want. If you're going to be someone that, you know, you may trade in every three to four years, very common, you're definitely not alone, then sure, full body paint may not be what you're looking for. But if you're the type of person who says, hey, I want this for 10, 15, 20 years, then that full body paint is gonna look just as gorgeous today as it does in 15 years. As long as you have the upkeep, you take care of it, it'll take care of you, and it will look just like this. It will stay gorgeous. For me, I love full body paint. I think it is worth every single dollar, but again, it is just all about what you and you want, but you have that option. It's one of the great things about the Forester here. Now let's get into some of the outside features. One of them, front cap, folks. This is a big one on Class C's. If you've ever seen Grandma and Grandpa's Class C, chances are that the front of it, you know, has a bunch of water damage. Why is that? Well, because there's normally a seam that runs right through here. And as you're driving, any of those direct rains are going to just be driving right into that seam. And eventually, over the years, if you don't, you know, not, uh, aren't staying on top of your silicone, well, there's a good chance water is going to get in there. But with the front cap, it helps protect against that because it moves the seam around to the side. So again, that way the water is not going to get in there. Huge deal having that one piece front cap. This one is built on the Ford E450 chassis. This one does have the newer power plant in there, which definitely gives you uh, some added torque. It's definitely a big deal, especially if you're looking at towing or going up steep grades. Uh, also, you'll notice side view cameras on here. Yeah, that gives you great visibility. This is not a short motorhome by any stretch. You definitely want that visibility. One of the biggest things about uh, the Forester is going to be the ride. Uh, when we talk about different Class Cs, that's one of those big dif differentiators is how well it rides. You don't want stuff to be rattling inside. You don't want to you know, feel like you're going down a dirt road when you're not. So they do a couple different things in here to aid with that. One of them will be the Ride Right Air Helper Springs. It also has the uh, Bilstein shocks in here and you get the Hellwig sway control. So not only is that gonna make it a smoother ride while you're riding, but also as you're going around some of those curves, you're not gonna feel like it's top heavy, like it's swaying on you. So that is a huge, huge deal. Uh, definitely recommend getting out there and driving one if you are interested. Uh, we talked about the trash can inside. I do wanna show you this, take a look, boom. There is you can just grab that take the trash can right out toss that sucker you're good to go because it is full body paint look how seamlessly everything blends in here i love that that of course being your um, your furnace right there if we drop down underneath you can or sorry your water heater rather uh, if you drop down underneath you can see some of your larger comport compartments those are going to be roto molded nice thing about that is it's very very easy to clean out you bring some firewood which please don't transport firewood across state lines we want to make sure that we're not transporting anything we don't want uh, that's going to be attached to your firewood but if you do have it in there it's going to make a mess you can just clean that out uh, super quickly and easily naturally power awning with led lights some speakers there slide out toppers for any pine cones or sap or anything that's gonna fall down, it's not gonna mess up your seals. And then as we come around to the back, we have the rear backup camera, plus you'll see right down here is your uh, 7,500 pound hitch. So as I mentioned, if you're gonna be doing some towing, this right here gives you the ability to do that. You have a propane quick connect if you wanna do some grilling outside. And of course, huge storage. You do have this same size compartment on the other side, plus a little bit of pass through. So if you're taking this, maybe skiing, tailgating, you need to fit some tables in there, you have the capability to do it. Folks, this right here, although it is a very roomy motorhome, is going to be a luxurious motorhome. Absolutely gorgeous. We have full body paint on there. This one is the 2022 Forester 3011 DS. If you're interested, definitely come in and check it out. But we have more coming up in just a second. I hope you're ready because this isn't it. I love you. Love you too, Papa. <laughs> Hey, honey, look what I got. A trigger fish. Don't settle for the trips you've always taken. There's a different way to travel. An 
and RVing is the way to go. You can see new things. Oh. Oh. Travel to new places. Cheers. Seek new adventures. It's moving. All without leaving home behind. You're so fun. I know. <laughs> Travel different with Camping World. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Rumi Motorhomes. That's what it's all about right now, Rumi Motorhomes. And hey, look at this. You could fit this in a Rumi Motorhome. All right, more with Ian in just a moment. And if you haven't done so already, register right now at ultimatervshow.com. Why? Because at our next stop in Michigan, that's just over a week from now, we're going to give away a brand new Arcadia fifth wheel. It may as well be you. And while we're talking about it, I want to give a shout out to our friends in Wisconsin. Boom! What just happened there? Five locations in Wisconsin, so many deals going on this weekend. Make sure you head out to our Ultimate RV Expo. It's happening right now. Food, fun, all kinds of great stuff. And speaking of which, roomy motorhomes. Ian has got this Greyhawk 31 footer. Wait until you see the inside of this. Ian, take it away. Woohoo! And here we are, folks, in the 2022 Jayco Greyhawk 27U. This is a great layout. You'll see the jackknife sofa directly across from the dinette and the L-shaped kitchen. And they were all the, uh, able to kind of fit this in, this small space up front, which I love. Excellent seating, great prep space with the addition of the extension, which I'll show you in just a minute here. And as you'll notice, you can still sleep a fair amount of people. We have our main bed, we have the cab over we'll see in just a second. This jackknife sofa folds out, the dinette drops down. Not only are we able to sleep six people in here, but you also have plenty of seat belts for them. So let's start off on the jackknife here on the camp side. One of the things I really do enjoy about this is the fact it has armrests. Now, that's not super uncommon for a motorhome, but when we look at, for example, travel trailers and some fifth wheels, a lot of times the jackknife sofas don't have built-in armrests, and you'd be shocked at how much more comfortable it actually makes a seated position when you have one there. Also, when we lift this up, you will see you have access to decent storage underneath. Now bear in mind, this is mainly storage when you get to your destination as you certainly don't want to interfere with the, uh, the usability of the seatbelts. But you do get two seatbelts there so you can have two additional riders. And when this slide is in, they'll be nice and close to everyone sitting here in the dinette. So that way you can have great conversation because you have the large dinette, you can play card games here. You have a spot for some drinks, nice big window letting in a ton of natural light you have your uh, lights right up top there as well so if you need to see at night you still have the ability to do that the other thing i really like about this dinette is if you take a look underneath it's practically legless we have this system right here in the back so that way it can drop down into a bed and it's pretty simple it lifts up just like so and then just kind of rotates down it has your uh the uh, pneumatic there we go, rod there, so that way it still doesn't just fall right over, but it helps control it up and down. But I love the fact that you can get people in here and you don't have a bunch of posts or anything that your knees are banging into, just without having those legs really optimizes the space. And speaking of optimized space, if we take a look underneath, once again, we have two seatbelts on both sides, but also, Take a look at all that storage. I mean, that's a ton of storage underneath there. Very easy to access. You can see the way they ran the seatbelts, and I kind of like this. They ran it up behind. They have the bar right here, so that way the seatbelt just comes right up. Really frees up that additional storage down, down beneath, so you can fill that up before you go out on your trip, and I think that is a really great feature. Another huge feature, and we talk about Jayco Motorhomes, we can see it right up front here, uh, will be the weight. So they have uh, so basically reinforced cab over bunk. So that way you can fit a couple adults up here. You have no issues whatsoever. It also has, in case you have the kiddos, you'll see the screen. That way you have these little carabiners. They'll just clip here. Then you'll see essentially 
you get seat belts that just clip up into the ceiling. So that'll help protect anyone from rolling off in the middle of the night and not just kids. I mean, to be honest, I roll a fair amount when I'm sleeping. Last thing I want to do is roll off and fall on the floor. That's going to be a really bad morning. So uh, I definitely would use that. TV will be located right up here. So that way, if you want to watch TV, you can do that. And again, folks, 750 pound weight capacity. So as I said, two adults, you know, even larger adults can sleep up here without any worry. And as with most class C's, this of course can come right up out of the way. You have your ladder here, but that way you have more access down into the cab. Something else I do want to hit on that I like actually are the headrests. The headrests in here are kind of molded in uh, a little bit more comfortable than what we see a lot of times in your Ford chassis, so I really do like that. Nice big touch screen there as well. And then you can see obviously spots for cup holders, everything for your heat and AC for the uh, cab, the chassis will be built right up there too. It is a little bit of a step down in, so make sure that you are aware of that uh, as you're stepping down into the cab space. But again, I really love what they did over top with the, uh, the reinforced bunks. Now as we move inside, you'll see the gorgeous interior. Uh, Jayco was one of the first to have kind of like this farmhouse style look. And you can see they brought it into the motorhomes and I love that they did. I think it really helps brighten things up, especially in this main kitchen space. We go back in the bedroom, you'll see it's a little bit darker, but here in the kitchen, they wanted kind of that bright, clean feeling. And I think they did a great job. You also have roller shades. And again, they went with beige rather than black. They're still considered blackout shades but when it's nighttime and you close them down it feels a little bit brighter you don't feel like closed in and claustrophobic especially with the lighter cabinetry uh, definitely helps and then we get into the kitchen itself and man oh man you have true solid surface countertops in here absolutely gorgeous the countertop extension over to the side you can see that pop up right there because it is solid surface if you're not undermounting the sink you're just doing yourself a, a disfavor I mean you're, you're just doing it wrong the solid surface you definitely want to undermount it's much cleaner you can just sweep everything right up in there you don't have the lip from the sink up top which is just going to form like a crust trail that's not what you want high rise faucet here you have the pop-up power tower that just drops right down here let me show you there's this little red button you can just push that in and boop just like that it's gone if you want it push like that pop it back up and there you go storage up top microwave of course you have your recessed three burner cooktop with the oven you have the light up knobs on there if you're into the the blue light up knob look, you don't have to have mine. You can turn it off just like so. And then plenty of drawer space, large drawers I may add. I mean, you can take a look there, nice deep drawers. Same thing right over here, you know, plenty of room in there. So that, I like that because it allows you space for pots and pans, which a lot of times you just don't find. And so I really appreciate that. Norcold fridge freezer units. When I open this one up, you can see how much whoop, space you have in here. Uh, this is a eight cubic foot. This one will be, uh, will run off both propane and electric. So um, the nice thing about that is if you're out and about, you can run that off propane. You kind of have like that uh, dual fuel, if you will, with the gas absorption refrigerators. And then it may coming in a little bit further, you will see your shelving. You have few shelves there, extra storage right down underneath door to the bedroom so you can close that off for privacy if you do have uh, additional guests that are staying the night and then we make it into the uh, bedroom area itself now bear in mind the bathroom is in the bedroom so if someone has to get up in the middle of the night they do kind of have to come into the bedroom to get in there uh, but again that's why it's built for two people but has the ability to sleep more before we go in the bathroom though i do just want to show you this take a look at the wardrobe you have a huge hanging rod in here rather uh huge wardrobe with a hanging rod i should say normal size hanging rod uh, underneath you get good open storage so plenty of room for any pants or you know I, I don't know if you have a huge sock collection right i've got a spot for that too and then in the very uh, back kind of corner is the bathroom and as we step in here I always like to just show people size just to kind of get an idea. So when you're seated and the door is shut, you know, that's about right. The door will be right about here. My knee will be there. Uh, I'm, you know, just to give you an idea, uh, I'm right around six foot tall. I have dropped a few pounds, so I'm sitting a little over 200 pounds currently, but I uh, still have plenty of space, no issues. One of the things I do like is the fact that they already put a toilet paper roll right in there so you know exactly where it is it's easy to get to it's one of those minor things that you don't think about unless you actually go out and use it and you're like 
wait a minute, where, where do I put my toilet paper? But they already thought through it for you. You will also see the countertop. You have upgraded thermoform countertop with an undermount stainless steel bowl, kind of a black faucet on here. Um, you'll notice the me a mirrored medicine cabinet plus a window that opens, which is always nice to have a, an actual operational window in the bathroom. And then when we step into the shower, I'll step in right here and again, right around six foot, you can see I have more than enough space with that skylight I and mean, I could be probably, you know, six, four, still be able to stand in here, no problem. You also notice the upgraded uh, hand wand they have. They give you an actual shower bar, it's a little soap dish tray, and then the, again, the upgraded um, wand itself, so that way it does just make it a little bit uh, easier to wash up because it gives you a spot where, um, you know, you can just kind of mount it rather than having to hold it in your hand. And then as we make our way into the bedroom itself, this one is a slide out bed. So when you have a situation like this in a class C where you have the bed uh, or you just have one slide out in the bedroom, normally what you get is a foldable mattress. And that's what you have here. And I'll show you. What you'll notice though is on the top, it actually is one piece. Now right here you can see that the, it does fold if you can see that around the side. But by putting on that top layer, you don't notice when you sleep. And that's a huge deal because that way it is going to be nice and comfortable. You make sure you get a good night's rest. Windows all the way around. I love this too. Uh, one, if you wake up in the morning and you have a beautiful view, you can enjoy it, which I really like. Two, these open, folks, so you, again, have cross ventilation through this slide. That's a huge deal. Plus, you can see the storage right up top. You have reading lights, more wardrobe space in the back, one of them having an adjustable shelf right over to the side, drawers all down below, and directly behind me is your TV. All right, and as we come outside, one of the things I want to point out right away is actually right here in the fact that this one does have auto level. That's a pretty big deal when we're talking about Class C's. It's something that normally uh, most of them just don't have, and it is kind of a representative of a little bit higher end Class C motorhome. That's fantastic, obviously, because it gets you out camping quicker. Now, as beautiful as the inside was, for me, the outside is where Jayco really shines, and the Greyhawk is certainly uh, not an exception. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see right up here, this is kind of one of Jayco's Class C uh, things that they do that really I haven't seen another manufacturer do, and that is give you a huge, fully molded, one-piece front cap. Normally, the front cap comes around and stops like right here, but with Jayco, you'll see it comes underneath, and this whole thing all the way back, all of that, is one solid piece. So you want to talk about great prevention of water intrusion on the front end, folks. Jayco, in my mind, has that almost second to none. You will also see that they have it right here on the pillar. I mean, all this is all wrapped. They did such a nice job on the front end. Uh, just one more thing that really stands out with the Jayco. For your side cameras, they built those into the mirror, trying to make things a little more sleek so you don't have something popping out. I enjoy that as well. And the roof, I should probably talk about that. We can't really see it here, but folks, that roof is a one-piece fiberglass roof. So if you're looking for something that's going to last a little bit longer, you can definitely uh, have some confidence in the Jayco. You can see the beautiful exterior here, the frameless windows. I love those too for a couple different reasons. One, they're just always just nicer to look at, right? Also, when you open these, because they essentially tilt open like this, if it's raining out, if you've been in an RV, a lot of times it gets kind of stuffy in the RV. But with this, you can actually open the windows so you can get some airflow. As long as it's not a sideways rain, you'll still stay dry. And that, of course, is underneath the power awning with LED light strip. You'll see that there aren't any slides on the campsite. So what that does for you is give you great usable camp space all throughout here. If we drop down underneath, you can see the rotocast bin with a light and you have TV hookup. So if you want TV outside, that's nice and easy right there. Making our way back a little bit further. If you want to listen to some music instead of watching TV, you can do that. Propane Quick Connect. That's a big one for people that want to cook. I know a lot of people like to bring like a Blackstone or you know maybe you have like a Coleman grill. You can pop it up. Boom, you are good to go right there. You're cooking it up in a hurry. And then right uh, in the back is some storage. Now you'll see that there's not huge storage areas on this side, but we do have a large storage area on the off camp side that is very easily accessible. That is where a lot of your larger items will go. Lastly, as we come around to the back, folks, I want to show you a couple things back here.
You will see the backup camera. Of course, you have a rear ladder, so because uh, that is a fully walkable roof, and a 7,500-pound hitch underneath. So if you want to do some towing, this one right here has the ability to do it. Folks, this is the Jayco Greyhawk 27U Roomy RV. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for joining me, but I have to get back to the stage. See you guys up there in just a second.